Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology, presented by yours truly, Ron Berger. Today is April 9th, 2017. In this segment, we'll take a look at the week that was and see how the planet's patterns in the zodiac matched up with the past week's events. So, it's been another eventful week in world events, and from the look of things, it isn't going to slow down. Last week, Uranus, the planet of sudden changes, rebellion, disruption, and so forth, was changing signs. A planet changing signs is unstable. Uranus spends seven years in a sign, so it doesn't change signs too often, and when it does, stuff happens. And in this case, the sign is Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, noted for initiating action, especially independent action. Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, is now in Aries, the sign of taking the initiative. Note that Uranus, indicating sudden events, is joining with Mars, planet of aggression and war, which has been in Aries since the beginning of March. Mercury, planet of making decisions, has been in Aries since March 26th. Adding all three together gives an impulse for extreme aggressive action. In response to Syria using nerve gas to kill a bunch of its citizens, the new President of the United States decided it was time for retribution, and, not coincidentally, time to display his cojones, and so he ordered cruise missiles to rain down on one of Syria's Air Force bases. The strike marked an abrupt shift from President Obama's reluctance to use military force on the Russian-backed government of Bashar al-Assad, but also marked an abrupt shift, literally an about-face, from Trump's previous position before he became president, when he was opposed to using military force against Assad. Taking a look at Mr. Trump's Vedic astrology chart, we notice that Uranus has just moved into his ninth house, which is the house of beliefs and ideology. And there, Uranus is joining up with Mercury, planet of opinions and making choices, and Mars, planet of action and aggression. So, President Trump had a change in his beliefs and took action. Simultaneously, Mr. Trump was meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida. The bombing of the Syrian airbase was actually in progress as the two leaders were having dinner Thursday evening. The much-anticipated summit was upstaged by the Syrian airstrike. What was billed as a showdown between the leaders of the United States and China over trade and North Korea ended up with little sign of confrontation or of concrete progress in resolving their differences. Mostly it appears to have been a meet and greet and not much more. Note that Saturn, the planet of responsibility, of the established order, and of reality, was stationary while beginning a retrograde phase. Thus, Saturn's natural quality of preserving the status quo was especially strong. Also, the reality check planet was in exact square aspect to retrograde Venus, the planet of compromise and agreement. In other words, Saturn was throwing shade on Venus holding back any changes that may have been possible through compromise and agreement. These patterns, that is, Uranus combining with Mercury and Mars, and Saturn in square aspect with Venus, will continue plaguing the world events situation next week. And there will be an additional wrinkle of Mercury being retrograde. 
Okay, sorry, but that's all the time I have for this week's Astrology News Report Review of the Week. You can keep up with events on a daily basis by following me on Twitter at Astro News Report.